we have instruction in the word that tells us that we as the Lord's servants are not to get involved in foolish quarrels, right. but instead we are to, with patience, instruct others. It even says to patiently endure evil and, and um, pray for the repentance of those who hold on to these foolish ideas. Right. So it, it is right to stand and oppose evil. We must do it in the way that we're told to do it, which is kindness and patience and gentleness mm. while we stand firm on the word of God. Yeah, you know, in Titus 3 on that note, at, at 1 through 2, it says, remind them to be subject to rulers and authorities, to obey, to be ready for every good work, to speak evil of no one, to be peaceable, gentle, showing all humility to all men. And then in verse 3, which is often disconnected, he says, for we ourselves were also once foolish, mm -hmm. disobedient, right. deceived, serving various lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. Yeah. But when the kindness and the love of God our Savior toward man appeared, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us. That was perfect recitation. That was. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I love that. You know, it's the reason why we're to be peaceable and gentle to all men is because we remember that we ourselves were once mm -hmm. that. First Corinthians 6 talks about how, and such were some of you. Right. Mm -hmm. The Lord's servant, right? And we're told in Timothy, must not be quarrelsome, but be patient, gentle, and humility correcting those who are in opposition. Yeah. So it's so important that we're instructed in both the truth. I think of, of John 1.14, where Jesus is described as appearing, revealing God to us, full of grace, grace. and truth. He was not 50% grace and 50% truth. He was full of both. And we're to be full of grace and truth as we stand for the word of God.